To my holy children, guard your heart, mind, and spirit with the washing of the word daily. Many wolves are in your midst, and they are devouring and betraying those even in your own household. Some of you sense that your spouse, sibling, child, or parent has embraced the warm, comforting messages of these wolves. They love the welcoming and enchanting words these evil ones deliver. These nayas tell them that good times are just around the corner, that better jobs, better this and better that are on the horizon of those who receive their messages. Their followers have been warned to safeguard these messages and not let the naysayers distract them or cause them grief or worry. They tell you to distance yourself from these detractors, some will say, that you should pray that this oppositional person be persuaded into their truth. While most will tell you to stand up to those not in agreement, even going as far as telling you that you are being persecuted for believing the truth, which is their truth, but not of the word. Some will even tell their followers to warn the critics that if they fail to discontinue their criticism, there will be unpleasant consequences. These consequences may be publicly denouncing you, separation, divorce, or even saying that I, the Lord, will get them. Some of these nayas will sound similar to the true prophets because they study my cold ones and the messages they declare. They are the most dangerous of false prophets. They try to sound like them, the real prophets, but they alter certain things, thus they are bringing deception. Which is why you need to not only know my word, but also develop spiritual discernment that I provide. The enemy is wise and very cunning. He has been ensnaring mankind for thousands of years. The average person is no match for these demonically guided ones. Look at Adam and Eve. They met with me daily. Yet through the statement the snake made, he was able to convince Eve to believe other than what she had been taught. Some will even pray in a manner that seems righteous, but they are whitewashed tombs. Their words have no power because their hearts are far from me and my purposes. Many have exchanged bitter for sweet. They see the judgments all around them, and instead of repenting for their sin and that of the nation, their false prophets tell them that this situation is a glitch and the devil will be stopped. The white hearts are coming to drain the swamp. They do not study the Old Testament to understand that drought, floods, whirlwinds, evil rulers and such are used by me to get their attention and that their sin and rebellion has brought about such judgments. My beloved, guard up your loins with truth. Be diligent in praying for these deceived ones. Ask that the scales would fall from their spiritual eyes and they develop a hunger for truth and a life of righteousness. That the deceived ones would realize that though they see more than one false prophet proclaiming similar messages and conclude that thus their proclamation must be true, they fail to understand that the same demonic spirit is operating in these various false prophets to deliver similar words, to deceive those who lack spiritual discernment. This is how the many who occupied or continue to occupy a pew will embrace the Antichrist, because these false prophets will have paved the way for him. These prophets will encourage them to believe that he will bring prosperity and peace having already prepared their minds by having sown deception into their hearts, minds, and spirits. My faithful, hold fast and keep in my word and prayer, though you will be shocked and alarmed at those who depart from the fold, even bringing rebellion and rejection as they do so. I am has never left you. I will not forsake you. I am almighty. And I said these very things would come to pass. Keep the faith, hold on to the cross through your suffering. 
Remember that you have agreed to pick up your cross daily and will suffer persecution, that those nearest and dearest may be the ones to bring such evil upon you, because they have been led astray. Did I not say it would be so? Your suffering will be a brief moment in time, and soon you will be with me and my son. Your suffering will not seem significant in comparison to the joy that will come. I love you, dear children. Keep serving the cause of Christ. I tarry not much longer. Abba, your Father.